Hello, everybody. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon from wherever you're from. I was just having a look in the chat. It seems like we've got uh, people from all over. A lot of people from the States, some people from the UK, some from India, some from Australia. Um, so thank you for joining, however late or early it is. You're very welcome to uh, your service now onboarding. My name is Owen, in case uh, you see my name and you're like, how is that Owen? Um, I'm from Dublin, Ireland, as I put in the chat. So it's like the Irish spelling of O-W-E-N. Um, but nice to meet you all. So I'm a customer success manager here at ServiceNet, and I'm going to be guiding you today through your onboarding journey. I see a lot of people have uh, joined and filled out the poll. So thank you very much for that. We will have a few more throughout the webinar. So thanks for your participation um, and keep uh Keep filling them out. So a lot of people came from servicenow.com or the Now community, which is great. Um, we're going to talk about the Now community today as well. It's one of my favorite sites. So at ServiceNow, we make the world work better for everyone. Uh, that's our purpose. So we're very excited to work with you and transform the way your organization works. Um, as mentioned today, we'll be talking all about how you can access all the resources, tools, and the ServiceNow community to successfully launch ServiceNow at your organization. Before we get started, just a couple of uh, notes and disclaimers from my side. Um, so this event is being recorded, um, and a recording of it will be available later on demand on the Now community page. So please do not disclose any personal information during the call. And following this session, we may reach out to collect feedback on the session. So if you would like to update on this, please directly message the hosts and panelists in the chat. And as my colleague Brida just put in, uh, please feel free as we go along to put any questions you might have in the Q&A box. So as you see from the agenda, we will have a uh, period for a Q&A at the end where some of my colleagues will come on and answer some questions. But as we go through the content, please feel free to use the Q&A. So today I'm here to help you get onboarded with ServiceNow. So this is the introductory webinar that is part of a series targeted specifically for new customers. So we'll provide a listing of other webinars of more in-depth topics that will become available throughout 2024. And the plan for today is I will introduce you to all of our resources at a high level and how to access and consume these. So today should hopefully feel like a ServiceNow 101 of course, if you like to take notes, please feel free, but rest assured, we will be sharing this session and all the resources with you after today's meeting. And at the close of the meeting, I'll provide you with some recommendations for your next steps on your ServiceNow journey. So very quickly, before we deep dive into the different assets, I just want to take a moment to briefly describe the ServiceNow Now platform. So your organization has probably purchased some, but not all the products listed on this slide. With the Now platform, you break down silos and you seamlessly connect people, systems, and processes with enterprise-wide digital workflows. And we're not just for IT service management anymore, at least. We have a full suite of products to help you manage and run your business, such as asset management, security operations, HR service delivery, and a lot more. And because the ServiceNow platform runs on our global cloud infrastructure, you get the reliability, the security, the security and the scalability uh, that you need to expand your digital footprint. So as mentioned, there might be a couple of more polls. So before we deep dive into the first topic, um, I want to ask, how long have you been a ServiceNow customer for? Perfect. I see a lot of answers rolling in very quickly. So thank you very much. Uh, we've caught a mix of people, which is great. So a lot less than three months, which is good. So you're probably new to service now, don't know all the resources we have. So hopefully this webinar will be of use. And there's a good portion of people who are here, uh, here for more than a year. Um, so you might have a bit more experience as well. Um, but maybe you want some clarification on topics or you're still not sure of all the different resources that are out there. So hopefully this is beneficial too. Um, and some people who are not currently a customer. So hopefully, uh, again, if you want to ask any questions, please feel free to throw them into the Q&A. So thank you, everyone, for participating. So why is this getting started on the right path so important? Well, 
we spoke to hundreds of customers and we found three major themes among new platform users. Uh, first, we found that you don't know where to access all the assets that ServiceNow has available or when to use them. So we're going to demystify that for you today. Second, you want somewhere to ask the how-to questions. So we'll show you how you can engage with the community to find answers. And third, you want us to provide more prescriptive guidance. So we'll take you to the resources that explain leading practices uh, that you can apply at your organization. So we know it can be a bit overwhelming when you are learning about and configuring a new product. So that's why to support your ServiceNow journey, we have created many, many resources. Uh, today, we're here to walk you through each of these assets that will support your success. So I'll explain why and when you should use each resource. And all of the resources presented here are at your fingertips. And we will be providing a PDF version of this presentation to all attendees with the links mentioned. Um, but my colleague will be posting links in the chat as well. And one more poll before we dive into our first topic is how comfortable currently before this webinar do you feel navigating the different ServiceNow resources that I just showed? Okay, a lot of people saying I have no idea where to go, which is, I mean, good, because that's the point of this webinar. We want to direct you where to go, explain how to use them, and hopefully that'll make it a bit uh, clearer. Uh, some people saying I can find what I need if I dig around, uh, which is good. But again, hopefully this webinar can help point you in the right direction so you don't have to dig around. Um, you'll immediately click and say, oh, yeah, that uh, strange Irish guy on the webinar mentioned that's where I can find this resource and you can go straight there. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for your participation. And we will deep dive and start in the first asset. So the first question that you might be asking is how can I get connected to other people using ServiceNow? And that answer is join our Now community. From its inception, the ServiceNow community has been a dynamic and collaborative place for anyone in the ServiceNow ecosystem. It's where you can ask the how do I questions and get answers. The community is full of content to help provide the context for using our products beyond the step-by-step -step instructions. For example, you might find code snippets or lessons learned from other users. A developer may post lessons learned on how we implemented X capability. Or a ServiceNow product manager may provide additional product information in an article or a video. As mentioned, you can also connect with other users in the forums by joining a ServiceNow user group or a ServiceNow special interest group. It's also where we list all of our live on ServiceNow events and meetups where you can dive deeper and talk with your peers. And you'll see when using the community that we recognize our frequent contributors on here as MVPs and rising stars, which highlights their expertise and enhances their credibility. So as part of this webinar as well, I will be doing kind of a live demonstration showing you the portal. So we'll take a quick look at the now community. <clears throat> If you need product information, this product hubs dropdown uh, has our products organized by topic um, and it's at the top of the homepage, easily accessible. In the discussions dropdown, this is where uh, you can connect to different discussions by organized roles. Blogs is where uh, you can see visible posts from a variety of experts who choose to share their knowledge. This group's feature is, as I mentioned, where you can find our ServiceNow user groups and special interest groups. So this is one of my favorite uh, areas to go. I definitely recommend you navigating here. And this events dropdown uh, has our live on ServiceNow events. It has links to our demo center on different products, and it has information on how to uh, register for the Knowledge 2024 conference. The resources dropdown is where you can always find the information that you need to get started, such as this community welcome guide, and there's frequently asked questions. Also, the idea portal here down the bottom is a place where you can submit suggestions to request enhancements to the community um, and what you're looking for. Something that's very useful on the community as well that I always like to point out is this little icon up the top. So it's on all of the other ServiceNow sites as well 
but when you click it, it will link directly to all the other resources that I'm going to show. So I will point that out, for example, if you need to quickly uh, navigate to now support, which we're going to not talk about next, you can click this icon. It'll take you straight there. So as mentioned, next is now support. So as a net new customer, um, you probably want to know how to get help if something goes wrong. And this is where the Now Support portal is your one-stop shop to submit cases and get technical support. You can also find answers to common issues by yourself using our support knowledge base. And in addition, you get access to a status dashboard of your instances and the ability to manage your support accounts and notifications. Your first step should be to have your administrator set up company users with specific roles. And your role will then determine whether you can create cases or schedule changes um, and which different notifications you'll receive from the system. Next, then, in the portal, you will, you'll want to explore the Help Center, which, as mentioned, is our knowledge base. In this uh, knowledge base, you'll find FAQs such as how to get started with and use Now Support, how to harden your instance and make it secure, or to, how to request and install the different plugins available. So we'll take a quick look at Now Support as well. So this is the landing page once you're once you're logged in, and it will show your dashboard of what you need to know at a glance about your account, such as open cases, um, any pending changes, uh, instance health information here, and just general news and recommendations from the system. As mentioned, first we suggest uh, you learn how to use Now Support, and you can do that by navigating to the Help Center. And within the Help Center, you will find three key knowledge articles to help you uh, understand the portal and the services. Next, your admin should manage access and users uh, to set up who can log cases and receive important emails, as I mentioned. Um, and this can be done via the drop down up the top right here. There will be a manage roles and users option, and that's where you can set up the access for different people. In the instances dropdown, this is where you can find a dashboard showing you the health of your instances and specific upcoming changes per instance. And lastly, one of the kind of FAQs I get from customers as well is where can I find information on kind of uh, policy, compliance, different stuff like this. So I definitely recommend checking out the Trust Center because it provides guidance uh, on security for your instances that your admin and security teams will certainly want to review. Um, as you're just getting started with the platform. And if all else fails, you can ask Cody down here, which is our now virtual agent. And to get help, you can just click the icon and type in your question. One more thing I want to note as well that your view might look a little different since I am, uh, this is the ServiceNow employee view. I believe this button now says get help as opposed to create a case. Um, and, and that what that will do is it'll take you to the help center section. And within there, it shows you our knowledge base. And if you do need to follow up and raise a case, you'll see there's an open case option down here, create a case. And up the top, this is where I mentioned that little trick if you need to navigate back to the community or to the other resources. So while the resources I've shown so far uh, are very helpful, you might be wondering, uh, how can I learn more and feel ready to tackle my ServiceNow implementation? Or I want to make sure I'm doing things right. ServiceNow's training and certification program, Now Learn, provi provides many courses to help you understand, configure, and use the platform. Most roles can benefit from training in Now Learning, such as administrators, developers, platform owners, end users, and process owners. As you might know, training is the key to laying the foundation for a successful implementation and to realize long-term value in the platform. When you invest in training for your team, you enable your organization to reap the benefits of ServiceNow and how to configure properly to avoid challenges with upgrades. And training is not just something that you do at the beginning of your journey, but all along as you mature on the platform. So. In saying that, I want to uh, highlight a few of the key benefits of ServiceNow's training and certification programs. So with our technical training, you can skill up your technical and business team members to implement, manage, and grow the platform. 
You can also support your employees' career development through our industry-recognized certifications, such as our Certified System Administrator or our Certified Master Architect program. We also offer custom training where we develop a program to prepare your, your process and end users through hands-on training using your company's ServiceNow instance. And if you need to expand your internal resources to support ServiceNow, consider our Rise Up program. This program includes coaching, training, networking, and hands-on experience to help early career and established employees skill up to work in the platform. And lastly, you can enable organizational change management using our expertise to lay the foundation of success for your training investment uh, with our flexible consulting offering. Uh, one more quick FYI as well, if you have purchased uh, learning credits, you will need to designate a training administrator to manage them. Uh, more information about learning credits can be found uh, in a link in the chat that was sent before. So let's take a look at the Now Learning portal. So this is the homepage you get when you log in. Um, when you've used it for a certain amount of time, you will see ongoing trainings here, but you can see I'm logged out to just show the general review, uh, general view, sorry. If you want to view role-based certification paths, you can check out this credential program and you'll see all about the different uh, certifications we have and specifically the credential paths and how to navigate and get to where you want to go. When you have completed uh, courses as well, you'll be able to show off your achievements with badges on social media. If you need support specifically on now learning and training issues you might have, you can access this help center. So this will be the help center specifically for training issues you have, uh, signing up for courses using learning credits, et cetera. And it has a lot of knowledge base articles specifically on now learning. So I recommend checking that out as well. Um, and within there, it has knowledge articles on a question I get frequently from customers as well is how can I merge my uh, uh, new professional work account with a, a personal Gmail account? That can be done and there's a knowledge uh, article in the help center. Of course, to see all the trainings we have available, if you select this explore catalog, you will be able to kind of filter and search for everything. So if you want to search for trainings by different role, you can click there. If you want to see trainings by specific product, you can check it out by workflow, see what we have available. And then you can either even filter by content type. So whether you prefer to learn uh, virtually via an instructor-led course or on demand by yourself in your own time, you can filter between those. And again, if you kind of just want to type in and search manually, you can do that in the search box at the top. Or else if you click view entire catalog, it'll take you to um, a view where you can search, see all results, and also kind of add different filters for role, for content type. Um, and you can sort by most relevant, popular, um, A to Z, different things like this. And of course, my little trick, that uh, icon is up here again. So that was now learning. I see some questions coming in the Q&A, which is great. And I see my colleagues, Jenny and Breeder, are answering them. So please keep them coming if you have any questions on any topics we're discussing. So product documentation. Now that you know how to get technical help, you might want to know where to find our product documentation. This official technical product documentation site at ServiceNow is known as docs.servicenow.com or just product docs. Information on the site is most applicable to for developers, administrators, and architects because it's mostly technical in nature. However, process owners and platform owners can gain insights as well as learn about product functionality and interconnectivity. You can search for specific information on products, applications, or features. You can watch a video tutorial or read about whole sections of the platform at a time. If you need to frequently refer to specific information and share this information with some colleagues, you can also export PDF books. And we continuously uh, update product uh, docs as new re uh, releases and features become available. And we keep documentation available for up to two prior releases. And that includes uh, store and mobile releases as well. So I will show you the product documentation site. 
if you have been a ServiceNow customer, some of you said for more than three months, you might notice the product side has been revamped recently and looks a little bit different. Um, so at a glance, you can see quickly the most relevant and useful information, or you can utilize the search box up here to quickly search and find exactly what you were looking for and be able to add filters. So you'll see this little drop down. You can filter what you search for by specific version that we have or by specific product that we have, and then type in your search and it'll take you to it. In this release notes and upgrade section, this is what I mentioned where you can find out what's changed uh, in each release. You can prepare by exploring resources for the target versions for your upgrade. And you can get ready for an upgrade with step-by-step -step upgrading instances uh, provided to you. In this store release information section, you'll find quarterly store releases for products that release them instead or in addition to the regular platform releases. Um, so become familiar with that because some features are only available via the store. In the featured content section on the right, you will find recommendations to support your instance maturity, different highlighted articles with key information and the latest product news. This PDF library option is also where I mentioned where you can download different PDF books uh, that you'd like to refer to frequently. Lastly, if you scroll down, you can see the explore product section where you can find the resources for our major product lines such as ITSM, um, application portfolio management, uh, IT operations management, and much more. Um, you can also then click view all products and it'll take you to the information applicable to that product. Or as mentioned, you can do it here via the filter button. Maybe the last time I mentioned it is this little icon up the top right, if you need to navigate between sites quickly. Okay. So now that you've set up your support process, you've researched your products, uh, you've connected with other customers and you've taken some training, uh, you're ready to start thinking about how to actually implement ServiceNow. So based on our experience with thousands of customers, we've developed our Now Create implementation methodology. This offers step-by-step -step, uh, delivery guidance on thousands of leading practice assets based on our customer outcome team's real world field experience with customers since 2006. The Now Create site provides comprehensive coverage across all aspects of your deployment, saving you the time and the cost of developing such material while providing prescriptive guidance, which helps you ramp up to ServiceNow quicker. So some of the things that are included, uh, firstly, is our tried and true implementation methodology with our industry expertise tips for successful deployments. There are also success packs that are like mini project plans for every product to get you started with project and resource planning. Um, these success packs also include leading practice assets, KPI guidance, process and operating models, as well as workshop presentations, starter stories, and architecture blueprints. You can also search for every uh, resource independently too. And because your ServiceNow journey doesn't just stop at go live, um, we've also included leading practices around upgrading um, and enhancements so that you can continue to build on your success. So we will have a quick look at the Now Create site, which is one of the most valuable resources as well. So it should be your go-to for collateral and leading practice guidance to run your implementations. When you get to the landing page, you'll find these three tiles for getting started. You can start by learning about our, um, our ServiceNow implementation methodology, and this will take you to a brief training. And then you can dig into the content I mentioned and search uh, for an asset specifically, or search for a success pack for the product that you're deploying, such as HR service delivery. In the success packs at a high level, as I mentioned, our project plans from start to finish. Uh, you'll also find downloadable templates and presentations that you can tailor to uh, your specific organization that will save you, you know, from reinventing the wheel. And whether or not you use our methodology, you'll still find all the content here very helpful. So you'll see, again, the site will automatically have a spotlight on critical topics for implementation. So get started with the methodology, large enterprise implementations, and then uh, popular topics that other people are checking out. So workshop presentations, process guides, starter stories. And again, 
similar to now learning once you've used this site a bit you'll see recently downloaded and frequently accessed uh, assets up here so that if you need to quickly come back and access it again you can easily do that so we hope that providing you with information about our resources has been helpful but uh, there's one last website that of course we want to mention um, so you might have already visited our servicenow.com site during the sales cycle, uh, but you might not have realized that houses information that you might need after purchase. And it helps you to connect to these other resources that we discussed as well. As an existing customer, you might also want to be aware, uh, be aware of a few key sections. So we will take a quick look. First, there are product specific pages that provide resources by product as well as entitlements by product. Um, and it might be helpful to review your entitlements if you're not exactly sure what you own or what you have access to. Second, there are customer stories by product and industry that can help you see how other customers have used the ServiceNow platform to achieve their desired outcomes. And lastly, if you scroll down to the bottom, one of my favorite sections is this Now on Now. Um, and what this is, is a page all about how you can learn uh, about how we use our own platform to achieve digital transformations and our own business objectives. Okay, so we are nearing the end of the presentation. Um, and I've shown you most of the different resources that we have. So one last poll question, which is how comfortable now um, do you feel uh, navigating through the different ServiceNow resources? Seeing lots of people fill out answers saying, I'm confident in my ability to find any content I need, which is great. It's, there's a lot more people selecting that than there was at the start. Um, so I'm glad that you found this beneficial. Uh, you know where to go for the different resources. And again, as I mentioned, all of this recording, uh, this presentation, the links will be provided to you and in the community after the fact, if you need to refer back to it. Um, and a lot of people saying I can find what I need if I dig around. Um, so hopefully, again, you can refer back to all the information. And now you know a little bit more um, of what's out there. And I see a couple of people have said, I have no idea where to go. So uh, maybe I hope you joined late and maybe you missed some information at the start. So definitely check out the recording um, and some of the resources because hopefully it should point you in the right direction. And that little icon navigator on the different sites can quickly take you to the different information you need. But please feel free to reach out, type in the chat, type in the Q&A if you do have questions uh, or something that we did not address. So if you're attending this call today, chances are you might already be a ServiceNow Impact customer. But if not, you might be wondering what is Impact? So consider it as your personalized smart guidance solution, um, which is orchestrating a tailored roadmap to assist with faster value realization and success. It's built on the Now platform as well. And it combines predictive and preventative software with human ingenuity to kind of keep your platform healthy and to help you implement ServiceNow faster. So this ultimately uh, allows you to get more value from the product more quickly. What Impact includes, very briefly, is an AI-driven digital exp uh, experience with value realization dashboards, um, intuitive journey builders that show real-time progress, proactive insights, prescriptive alerts, and custom recommendations. You get premium technical support to reduce your risk in your instance and to give you more control over your platform. Yeah, there's collaboration with a diverse team of technical and strategic ServiceNow experts to amplify and augment your own team's ex expertise. You get access to curated content, coaching, leading practices, as well as on-demand and tailored learning aligned to your roadmap and roles. And you get the ability to define and accelerate your digital transformation, which includes tracking progress for strategic transformational uh, transformational initiatives to drive business change. So if you are an Impact customer, you can expect a member of your Impact squad to reach out and schedule a kickoff meeting where you can discuss your goals and start your digital transformation journey. 
Um, but for those of you who do not have ServiceNow Impact and you're kind of curious uh, about learning more, please reach out to your account executive. So what's next? After uh, my overview of the assets that will help you as a new customer, um, if you're wondering what to do next, we have got you covered with this slide. So this is a guide to the activities that you should complete to get ramped up. Your first course of action is to set up your ServiceNow account and get the rest of your team to do the same. Once your ServiceNow accounts are set up, join the Now community, which I showed earlier, and start connecting with your peers. And also then don't forget to register for training because knowledge of the platform is part of your foundation for success. So please feel free to use this guide as an onboarding checklist as you get started with ServiceNow. Very good. Um, looks like we've got all the questions here. Um, so thank you everybody for joining. And again, please you know fill out the survey and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you everybody. Bye-bye.